I'm so filled this morning. I'm so filled because it's February the 28th. I had a deep issue within me 23 years ago. I lost my sister. It's her birthday today. And we struggle with that deep issue year after year after year after year. I ask the God to help me to make it through this. I ask God to help me to get through this hurt and this pain that I might have been feeling deep down inside of me. Because it's just like something that stabbed me over and over and over again. Deep issues within is my thing today. I'll be coming for Mark's Gospel. Fifth chapter, the 25th through the 31st verse, 34th verse, excuse me. We all would like to be on one accord during this message. I want to make sure everybody has more, 25 through 34. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 And a certain woman which had and issue of blood twelve years, and has suffered many things of many physicians, and has spent all that she had, and was nothing better, but rather grew worse. When she heard, when she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched his garment. For she said, if I may touch but his clothes, I shall be made, I shall be whole. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And Jesus immediately, knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, Who touched? My clothes. And his disciples, disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude thronging through thee, and says, Thou who touched me. And he looked round about to see her that had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him, and told him all the truth. And he said unto her daughter, Thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plan. Amen. Amen. If I want to go to a topic this morning, I'm going with deep issues within. Hallelujah. Deep issues within. Have you ever been to a physician? Perhaps you've seen him make notations in your file. You are assuming he's making a recording of your symptoms or symptoms or your treatment or treatments for the illness of your weakness. A good physician keeps a case file Hallelujah. whereby all records are in top confidentiality of his patients. This morning I will open the case file of the supreme, supreme physician Hallelujah. who keeps accurate records of this certain woman with the issue of blood for 12 long years. This certain woman, she didn't have a name. I would guess that her name might have been Shaquilla, or her name might have been Veronica, or whatever her name might have been. She had an illness for 12 long years. She had a custom flow. She was bleeding like a woman have a menstrual cycle. Some of the menstrual cycles begin at the age of 12. Whatever her menstrual cycle began at, she had a flow, and a flow means nonstop. Amen. According to the Jewish customs, the Levitical laws back in those days, in those times, if a woman go beyond her normal menstrual cycle, she is considered unclean. Hallelujah. She couldn't go in the public. Everything that she touches is unclean. Everything that she sit on is unclean. Amen. She suffered physically and emotionally. Amen. She went to many, many physicians Hallelujah. trying to get better, but only grew worse. How many of you know that we go to doctor to doctor trying to get better but only grow worse? When we go to our physician or our doctor's office, we go with a illness. We know something just ain't right in our bodies. Amen. And they say, well, we can't do it over here. We're going to send you to so-and-so. 
and we're going to send you over here. But you're only getting worse and not better. Amen? She spent and she exhausted all of her funds. She exhausted all of her money going to the doctor. Back in those days, days I'm pretty sure she didn't have Blue Cross or Blue Shield. Amen? Come on. Ah, she only grew worse in the name of Jesus. She has spent all of her money, and I'm pretty sure she spent all of her time as well for this condition that is nonstop. Amen. Amen. She heard about Jesus. Maybe she heard the multitude talking as he was going over to Jairus' house to heal his daughter that was laying dead at 12 years of age. Maybe she heard about it through the blind man that, maybe she heard about it through the leper that was cast out the demons. Maybe she heard about it throughout the neighborhoods. But she was in a desperate situation. How many of you know when you're in a desperate situation, you do anything and everything to solve that desperation, amen? She moved when she heard about Jesus was coming through. How many of you know we got to move into the things of God? We just can't sit still. We got to move when God tells us to go. God said, well, two or three of them, we are being missed. You got to move in the things that God called you into. She didn't hesitate. At this point, she really didn't care who saw her out there in the crowd. She really didn't care who saw her uncleanness. She really didn't care at this moment because she had this issue. This issue went further than the issue of blood in her life. Hallelujah. She was suffering with many things. I believe it went to an image issue. Come on. Dude. I believe the reason why I say that is we always try to look our best. We always do as our hair. We put our makeup on. I see ladies in the beauty shop. They want to look their best when they go out. A declaration of who you are within yourself. There's a deep issue within her. Amen. Men look on our appearance, but God looks on the heart. Amen. Amen. She had some deep issues. Oh, yes, I know that she had some deep issues. This issue, this self-image issue, reminds me of Adam and Eve in Genesis, in the book of Genesis. When they sinned in the garden, if they, if they knew their self-image, they wouldn't have fallen for the trick of Satan. Come on. We are created in the image of God. Amen. 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 Right. Right. So when they was in there, when they was in the garden of Adam and Eve, it reminded me of them that they didn't like what they seen in themselves. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Right. When, they, when, when God discovered them in the book, in, in the garden, they tried to hide themselves because they didn't really know their self-image. Amen. Come on. Amen. Be careful what you hear. You might be hearing lies from the enemy. Mm -hmm. She said, if only, if only I may touch. She was speaking within herself. She began to speak to that situation. I, I, I can imagine she was saying, speak to that mountain. Come and that on, mountain man. shall be removed. Come I on. believe she was saying and she was speaking in the Holy Ghost. God, I just got to get to you. I just got to get this touch because I got something within me that's so deep. Only you can handle the situation. Amen. She said, I shall. She began at this point, she began to make this thing a little bit personal. She said, I shall. There's no doubt in her mind that she will be healed. She believed, she believed that she began at this point in time. When she believed, she began to exercise her faith. Hebrews 11 on one states, so now faith is the something of thing, hope of, there were things of things not seen. She didn't see it at that point, but she knew without a shadow of a doubt that her faith was going to move that mountain out of her way. That faith was going to move that deep issue that was lying deep inside of her. When she touched him immediately, immediately, means suddenly, quickly, the issue of blood dried up from her. And she felt in her body that she was healed from her afflictions. Yes. That she was healed, no doubt about it, in her mind that she was healed. Yes. God said, it's impossible to please me Come on. without faith. Amen. You gotta have that faith of the size of a mustard seed. And this woman with the issue of blood didn't have a certain name, but they say a certain woman Come with on. this issue of blood. She exercised her faith because she was believing God and believing Jesus for this miracle that Amen. she so desperately needed for that issue of blood for 12 long years. Amen. Mm -hmm. And Jesus immediately, knowing in himself, when she touched him, that power had gone out of him. He turned around and he, I began to hear him say, who touched me? Hallelujah. Who touched me? And the reason why Jesus knows who touched him, even though Peter was saying, all these people around me, all the multitudes around him, you, 
You know, anybody could have touched you, Master. But he said, I know someone touched me because I feel the power that left out of me. Hallelujah. It was a wow. deep relationship in that, in that lady with the issue of blood. Yes. Hallelujah. She touched Jesus. How I many you know we got to touch Jesus? We got to reach out and touch him. If you're deep in the ocean, if you're high on a mountain, I want to touch you, Jesus. Amen. 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 This woman came. He, he turned around. And as this woman came, I, I can imagine she came trembling. And she was fearful. And she was fearful before him. And she told him the truth. I can imagine. I put myself in this lady with the issue of blood. She might have said, I'm telling you the whole truth. So help me, God. Nothing but the truth. So help me, God. And it was me. It was me that touched you. I need a healing from you, Lord. She began to tell her testimony to Jesus. She began to tell it to the crowd that was around her. Oh, Lord. She said, it was me. I can imagine she was saying it was me, Lord, that I just had this issue for 12 young years and I done exhausted all my bonds and I just need a touch from you, God, because I have this issue deep down within me. How many of you know we got some issues out here? Turn to your neighbor and say deep issues within. Say deep issues within. Hallelujah. She began to tell the crowd everything. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Help me in him, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Oh, she began to tell him everything. Every situation, from position to position. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And daughter, he said, and daughter, your faith has made you well. He said, go in peace and be healed of your afflictions. This issue, issue wasn't her issue for life. She truly believed that. Hallelujah. She truly believed that. Yeah. Even though she thought it was at that moment because she went to position to position and never was healed of this thing. But it wasn't the end of it. It was a cure. Yes. When Jesus said daughter, that reminded me when Jesus said daughter, when he said daughter, right, she went from a condition to a position in the kingdom. Right. In the name of Jesus. She had a condition, but she went to a position in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus would meet you right where you at today. Regardless of your situation, regardless of your pain, regardless of what you're ever going through. You need to pull on the things of Jesus. You need Amen. to pull on Amen. You need to touch the him of his God. And you will be yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to pull on him that Jesus will move immediately in your life. He will move suddenly. The Bible tells us that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Amen. She diligently seek God with this deep issue within her. Mm -hmm. And she was rewarded because her flow suddenly stopped. Yes. In, the in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus moved on faith. God moves on faith in the name of Jesus. God said those who worship me must Worship me in the spirit and the truth. Yes. You can't be playing with God. God is not going to play with You either you in or you either do right. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You can't go around saying good and doing another Come thing. In the, you can't in play a game on your sister Come on. and your brothers in Christ. All right. We all in this thing together for God. There you go. Hallelujah. All in the right. name of Jesus. He said it's many. One body but many members. We have to lift each other up when we see each other down. When we when they deal with pains and issues in their life. In the name of Jesus. I don't hate on you and you don't hate on me. We're going to get this thing moving for the kingdom of God. Nothing about us. It's all about the kingdom of God. 
deep issues within. The certain woman, in the name of Jesus. I want to know what is your issues today? What have you been holding for year after come year, month after year? Come on. What is your issue that you've been carrying around? In the name of Jesus. Let some of that stuff go. Amen. Let it all go. In the name of Jesus. Whatever someone has done to you, give it to God and keep moving on. Because God is a God of movement. God is not a God of stagnation. I want to get all that God has for me. I don't know about nobody else. But I'm going to be all that God called me to be. In the name of Jesus. Maybe there might be rejection. Maybe you was rejected as a little child. And over and over again, somebody told you you'll never amount to anything. You'll never be nothing. Maybe you were dealing with rejection in your life. Come on. In the name of Jesus. Maybe it might have been alcohol, getting drunk to cover up your pain and your issues that were lying deep inside of you. Hallelujah. Maybe it might have been some lies you told. In the name of Jesus. Come on. That you had to give deal with, to be healed from. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Maybe it might be some backfighting going on in the inside of you. Come on, come on. In the right. name of Jesus. Maybe it could be stubbornness in the name of Jesus. You just don't want to Jesus. move because you're so darn stubborn. In the mighty name of Jesus. Maybe it's self pity on me, on me, on me. Oh, me, what about me? What about you? It ain't nothing about you. Maybe it might have been some anger issues you might have been dealing with in your life in the name of Jesus. Maybe some malice of intentionally harming somebody, putting stuff in people's drink. Maybe, maybe it might have been jealousy in the mighty name of Jesus. Maybe you might have been an unwed mother at a young age. Didn't know how to take care of your baby, but God always has someone in place to help you along the way. Am I right about it? God always has somebody in your corner. God sends people to bless you. Am I right about it? Yeah. Having trouble on your job? Having trouble on your job. When you go in your job from 9 to 5, you meet the devil right there, but I refuse the devil to interfere with my work. I refuse the devil to interfere with my worship. I was having a good day, and when I stepped in the workplace, here he go. I said, okay, devil, you shoot your best shot, because I'm coming out in the victory today. Oh, I'm going to let you tuck your tail, baby, and you're going to run, baby, because you come against really? the kingdom of God in the mighty name in of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Maybe we might be dealing with some family issues today. We all have them in the name of Jesus. Come on, because man. we really can't say, see our work. We really can't say our self-image in the name of Jesus. We got to get this thing together. All we got to get together all for the body of Christ. We have many gifts and talents in our family, just in our family, that we probably could make a CD, but it was so many deep issues within you Come on. that you can't really see what God is really moving in your life. Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. There are three key points hallelujah. I want to give you concerning this text upon my tits. Number one would be diagnose. Diagnosis. This certain woman had an issue of blood. She had a flow of blood. She was seeking help. She didn't know which way to turn. But the flow is getting worse. And I can, I can just feel in my spirit that this lady might have felt weak. She might have been a nigga. She might have just didn't know who to turn to because she was an outcast in the public in the name of Jesus. Number two is discomfort. She was in pain and weak, and she had many issues, not only the issue of blood, but she had many things that she was dealing with. You got to stay focused. That's it. That's you it. have to stay focused in your mind. Amen. You have to stay focused in the things of God. Don't get sidetracked in the name of Jesus. She went to different positions at the position. Trying to get healed of her condition. Only but one man could heal her of that. And that was Jesus the Christ. Amen. Number three is duration of this period. For 12 long years. In isolation. Hallelujah. Not being able to go 